Officials from both parties agreed that with the candidate pools narrowing, the next Democratic debate will be crucial to who receives the Democratic nomination. So our Phoenix debate will be a showcase debate for the finalists, and it could be the decisive debate. Phoenix, Arizona could host the debate where we narrow down and really pick the finalist who will be the Democratic nominee. Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego and CEO of High Ground Chuck Coughlin agreed that the narrowing pool of Democratic candidates will contribute to a more decisive debate. I think this could be really one of the first ones where those candidates following um, Super Tuesday will be able to condense onto the stage and begin to sharpen their own dialogue better, get more attention, and their critique of their opponents. Chief pollster at OH Predictive Insights, Mike Noble, spoke about the impact he thinks the debate will have on the upcoming election. Well, Arizona is going to play a role, however, just with the Democratic primary, the way they split out their delegates. It's, it's not going to be a tipping point state, I would say, when it comes to the Democratic primary. But again, Arizona, uh, with its importance here in the election, is going to be huge. Gallego and Coughlin both think the debate will be watched carefully by voters before they cast their ballots, ultimately impacting votes in Arizona. I believe that our Democratic debate in Phoenix, Arizona will drive a lot of excitement. We should see increased turnout among Democratic primary voters who have that ballot at home for the presidential preference primary. I expect it means that many voters will wait and drop off their ballot on election day as opposed to voting and mailing before the debate. I think our voters are excited to see what will happen at the Phoenix debate and really want to be part of it. I think people are going to be holding on to their ballots, and they want to see, given the opportunity to see the debate and what happens out here. So I think it could have a late-breaking turnout um, effect on the electorate um, and who is competitive and who's not competitive. And so uh, I think it's exciting for Arizonans to have this opportunity to see the candidates up close and personal. You would think, given our proximity to Mexico and the state's history with problematic immigration, uh, challenges that that would be a significant portion of this debate. Immigration challenges as well as other issues of interest to the Latino community are expected to be thoroughly covered topics next week. And I think one of the other interesting things is that you saw what I'm most curious to look at to see how Bernie Sanders does with the Latino vote. You saw how he did in the Nevada uh, elections and basically he did incredibly well with Hispanic voters compared to the other. We know our second largest demographic group here is Hispanics and it's growing uh, rapidly. So I'm very curious to see if that trend continues for Bernie. Arizona is traditionally a red state, but could see a change to purple or even blue with the next election. But I think right now they're jazzed up and uh, you know it's gonna be a battle on both sides between the Republicans and Democrats here in Arizona. The 11th Democratic debate will take place in Phoenix on March 15th at 6 p.m. at the Arizona Federal Theater. The National Democratic Committee has created a website where you can register online to attend the event, though they caution the capacity is extremely limited. At the Digital Desk, Delaney White, Cronkite News.